hi everyone. Thank you so much for joining in on another episode of State of the Arts. Today I have a very special guest with me, Patrick Mills. He's a senior. You might recognize him from TikTok, Instagram, anything BC related, Patrick Mills is usually there. So we just met, what, five minutes ago? Yeah. So tell me, tell the listeners, tell us about yourself, where you're from, what you do, what's your MO, all that. Uh, I'm from South Florida. I was bullied as a young kid. Uh, I really like the Rainforest Cafe. Um, my interests were like the way to make friends and it didn't work for like a really long time. Yeah. And then it did kind of, but I think it's like a lifelong process. So as I mentioned, I met Patrick five minutes ago and my first impression of Patrick, the first time I heard your name was freshman year. We had a group me going because COVID, we didn't know anyone, so we wanted to meet people. So this, it was this massive group me with most of our class. And anytime anyone would ask a question, I'd see Patrick Mills would answer. And he always had the answer. So in my mind, I thought you were like an orientation leader or like someone who works for that's BC. What, that's what a lot of people said. Yeah, but then I figured out he was in my class and that was, that was great. Sure. Yeah. yeah. It was fun. It was fun. It was fun. It was a little too like, I, we were all like locked up for a few months, right? So everyone yeah. was just so eager to to say hello and make friends. And Absolutely. I think for like, kind of speaking to the whole 10 year, 12 year kind of like uh, timeline, I've always been about like casting the right characters in my life. Cause like yeah. life is good. You know, you want to do the things you want with the people you want. Um, and so I was really excited to have like a new shot at it in, in college. Yeah, so that's interesting. All that was about. I don't think I was very helpful though. I don't think I answered no, many questions. No, I think, I think you did. There was one question in particular where I was like, I don't know, what it was, but I remember texting my friends like, I don't know what this is, and then you somehow, sure. someone asked, and Patrick Mills had the answer. So Being online like, too much, probably. Chronically online, yeah. I feel that, I feel that. So, yeah, I um, was just telling you that I feel like I've perceived you a lot while doing, watching you do your man on the street interviews and things like that, so I'd love to hear about your process of that, and I I remember you saying that, you know, it's, it's more work than art to you, so that, Kind of like well, that. I'm not work in like the hard work sense, but mm -hmm. work as in like it's always been commercial. Yeah. Like I don't know, everything I've done is like, oh, what's the, what's the point of this? I mean, like art is fun, and I like taking photos that are nice, but like, eh, it's it's so that people will see it. Yeah. Most of the time, that's what with, with photo, but but with the videos, my good friend Taylor Morales, she's just here. She goes to BU for yeah. um, screenwriting now. Uh, she was like, we should do this concept, and I think this. I think Patrick would be uh, a clown and, you know, do it for us. So I was like, <laughs> sure, I'll do it. You know, banana costume, turkey costume. It was Love really it awkward at first. Yeah. Because uh, people were like, what, what is this for? You know, there's like multiple reasons why people would like steer clear, like, oh, sure. you're this, you're that. Yeah. But you know, then it's like people see it, people see where it goes. And they're like, oh, oh, can I be in this? Can I, I be in this? <laughs> and one of, the, one of my favorite stories from this academic year already is someone came up to me and she was like, your videos are the reason I like knew about BC and I think that's like incredible that's so special and, I uh, love that yeah I feel like a lot of times BC is a, BC is a little niche I'd say I grew up in Massachusetts but it's still lore it's lore <laughs> how'd you hear about it from South Florida curious I don't know actually interesting there were like a dozen schools that started with B in the Boston area and I was yeah. like click 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 and then Boston College had the nice building yeah so I applied to that one early I love that but I think it worked out I think it worked out um, so back to your man on the street videos. Does anyone ever swerve you? Like, yeah, all the time, all the time. Wow. All the time. I mean, not like not like beef, but just yeah. like people who don't want it. And that's don't fine. That's what, I mean, I wouldn't want to in yeah. some scenarios. And some, yeah. Just trying to listen to some tunes. Yeah, definitely. Walk on the quad. Um, but tying into your photography that you mentioned, sure. your photography, tell me about that. Uh, I have no idea what photos are going to be in it. I have no idea what it's going to be called, but it's going to be Friday the 13th in uh, Kearney 203. Okay, actually, you can visit Patrick's exhibition, Stop Making Sense, a gallery that addresses the national coin shortage in Gallery 203, Kearney Hall 203. The gallery is open from Monday to Friday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. So that means you can visit in between classes or before your walk home, and you have until the end of October, specifically October 27th, to go check it out. Okay. It's going to be great. I, I really like just bringing people together and, yeah. and sharing good music and... and just mixing people who don't know each other because they, you know, they all like become yeah. friends and they like have really interesting conversations. It's like, what are you talking about? But it's wonderful. Right, yeah, it's I good. love that. Um, so prior to this, I looked at some of your photos. Love it. One of my favorites, which we'll insert here, 
is the Mar- Marathon Monday photo that circled on herd and it was incredible. Um, but I'm curious, I know a lot of photographers have, you know, their signature, their symbol, their look, how they edit their photos, everything. Is there anything specific that you do? Like, what's your what's your signature? I mean, it's it's really whether I want to go out and shoot something or not, but when I'm there, I, I like look at the people and not mm-hmm. the, whether it's live music or like a football game, I'm like not interested in that. I mean, I like live music, but the football game, I'm like, eh, you know, a dozen people are taking the same images. Like the same five photos are gonna go around the same like 12 newspapers. So what about the people? Like, oh, there's so much going on up there. Yeah. That's about it. And, and Marathon was a good example of that. And like yeah. all the characters, you got Ginger Paul, you got Ginger Paul. people on your shoulders, <laughs> you got Calm Ave, you got the cops like pe- punching people in the neck, you know, yeah. it's like, it's good. That's so cool. I love that. Something that I'm still thinking about that you mentioned in your intro, sure. Rainforest Cafe. Give me a rundown. What's that about? <sighs> it's a uh, wonderful place to shop and eat, I think they call it. Uh, it's just it's just part of like growing up i don't know if it's it's not just a south florida thing there are 20 locations worldwide uh including like in asia and south america i think there's Mm. like four in texas um there's i think three in florida do you know the smell of like an indoor pool when you're at a hotel absolutely that like smell of indoor water yeah all that stuff uh it's just an experience and you're like trying to eat your food first of all it's like the worst food you could ever like I've never paid $25 for a worse meal than at Rainforest Cafe. I'm going to sure. be real with you, but it is it is a pleasure to be reading the menu and to just have the lights go down or and you got like a you got a gorilla like yeah. And it's like really I'm just trying to so I it's like a ritual to bring my friends there and a lot of them yeah. have resisted, but I think like the grand finale will be we're going to go to the one in New Jersey because it's like New York adjacent. So, so make a little trip out of it. What's your order? Or did you switch it up every time? Uh, it's been, it's kind of foul. I mean, everything there is foul, but coconut shrimp is is okay. It's good. It's like, it, it tastes like something that should taste good. And then, Coconut shrimp at Rainforest Cafe. And then or, uh, pork, pulled pork sliders. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. And where's the closest location here? The closest there, well, the closest one is in Edison, New Jersey. I think that's about 287 miles away. Other wow. than that, you have two at, um, Niagara Falls, both on the Buffalo side and on the Canada side. So it's the most dense um, two rainforest <laughs> cafes per square mile, and it's one square mile. So Word. I would recommend. I think my impression of Rainforest Cafe is in Paul Blart Mall Cop. Is that right? Famously, rainforest Cafe. Burlington Mall. Burlington Mall, yeah, that's my yeah. home mall. Um, I love Paul Blart. Anyways, Rainforest Cafe, cool. I feel like that's what I, I think of now when I think of right? Rainforest good. Cafe. You gotta, you gotta um, have one thing. Absolutely, and yours. And you look like every Cafe. other person who takes photos. So, Rainforest uh, Cafe. I like that. Um, but yeah, back to photos. Sure. Are you mentioned that you started taking photos since you were what ten? Something like that. Yeah. yeah what just, got you into it? Do you have um, any inspiration? Or inspo. What's funny is I don't I don't consume a lot. I mean I'm on Instagram and like I think there's so many like film photography tropes that are like overdone and I try to like yeah. not pay attention to what but I I haven't consumed a lot. Nothing really inspired me, but I was homeschooled for like three years when I was like eight years old. Explains a lot. <laughs> I had a lot of free time, unsupervised internet and, and I got into tech and I got into cameras and it was kinda like natural progression. I haven't I love that. Well, last question before we head out sure. is what needs to be talked about on campus regarding arts? So funny you ask. I've been thinking about this for two years uh, yeah. I've been trying to work on it. Um, it's not, it's, it's art, but it's also like, I hate to say business adjacent, but it's commercial. Like, like I said, all my work, most of it has been commercial or with like the, the point is to, for people to see it. And so when I was an underclassman, I was really frustrated with the way that people would have me take their photos and like not credit me or not pay me or like, you like pick one, like you got to shoot for free for a while because I mean not have, yeah, for a little bit, you got to just do your time, you got to shoot what you're interested in. But when you don't get paid or credited, it's kind of like, all right guys, like I don't want to shoot like a mediocre band for the third time this year with like no, anyway. Mm -hmm. So I got less um, like cynical and frustrated about it, but I still think it's important that underclassmen, upperclassmen, anyone, has a platform to kind of like find real work because there are a lot of clubs who need their who need their event shot, who need headshots, portraits for their clubs. And frankly, a lot of people have asked me like, can you do this weekend? And I'm like, no, I'm out of town and I want to give people gigs. So all that to say, I'm launching a platform called College Creates. 
it's like Fiverr or Upwork, but for college. So basically you go on there and you see like, here's Patrick, he takes photos occasionally. Mm -hmm. um, here's Taylor, she does video. Here's uh, Andrew, he takes photos. Here's Emily, she does um, art, she paints. Um, and it says, like a little bio about them, it says what their rates are, if they want to shoot for free just to get their work out there, it has their portfolio and it has how to contact them. So wow. one section for student artists and creatives, yeah. um, and then the other for clubs and people seeking the gigs. Yeah. Um, so that's a that's a new initiative, new project I'm launching. That's so cool. When So when is it launch? So, I mean, it's launching in the next month, but um, we're on Instagram. It's called College Creates. Small correction here. The Instagram handle is actually collegecreates.bc. Perfect. Well, yeah. keep a lookout for keep, that. Yeah. If you want to um, get into freelancing as a student artist, creative, whatever it is, um, get opportunities to find work. That's incredible. Good for yeah. you. It'll be, good, for it'll you. be good. Good, for, good for them. Good for the students. Good for them. Good for the students. I like it. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Loved having you on. Yeah. That's State of the Arts. State of the Arts. <laughs>